Chris Aaron's here, trying to focus with a lock pinned by Late Night Lock Picker, Keys Mummified. Uh, I don't really know what keyway that is. Uh, no name on the lock. Late Night Lock Picker. Looks like a five pin. So, let's see what the late night lock picker has got for me in here, which was sent by JP McPenny. That's where I got this lock from. A lot of slack in the core there. Start with a standard hook. focus all right go back a lot and let's see what we got a little bit on three a little grinding on two a little counter on one and a small click and uh let me redo that because i got that off Locks twisting on me. Back it up a little. Now, let's try that again. A little five, four. A click on three. A little counter on two and a click. And a click on one. Kind of a difficult little keyway to get into there. And kind of that little curve to get around. Got a little movement on five. A little on two, a little counter rotation. Five feels like it might want to do something. Let me see if I got it. Let me try this. So I can get in there. It keyway's kind of tight. All right, there's a good click on five. So a little click on four, three, two. And get under one. I got a little counter on one. There's one. counter and click on four there it is on five keyway is really difficult and then pin has a lot of clicking in there that was really fun let's see we got a clip here at number five, I think there's a little booger. So we'll see what we got there. And like always, we've got this little groove where that retaining clip goes in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna shim it. Cause that five may have been a T-pin or something. Set that there, and we're going to dump out these top pins. If 
focus for y'all. I don't like looking at the blur. Not a very good camera man. a pen in pen I know that had a serration in the middle I seen that I'm not sure which way that pen and pen goes all right I have all right here is number two spool three before I lose it nicely serrated that is nice all right before I make a bigger mess another nicely serrated That's all of them. Let's take a look at this plug. And looks like one, two, and three is clean. Four, five, and six is clean. Let's take a look at this key. really good. I'm gonna pick every one of them. See what we got here. And I'm not sure If the pin and pin was, I think it would have been, if I can get it without dropping it. Get in there. I think it would have been that way. I'm not sure I'll go back and watch JP. JP McPenning's video, but as you can see, in number five is a. Ah, uh, it's just. Get in there. All right. Now, there we go. Number five is serrated. So every one of those serrations come into play. Number four is a serrated. Getting out of focus. Those come into play. Three is a serrated. Can't get it. Come here. There we go. Number two is a spool. Wife trying to call that figures. All right, and then number one is a pin and pin. I'm pretty sure it went that way. I'll double check with JP McPenning's video and make sure. All right, the plug is one, three, and five is threaded. Got counter milling in 
three. Number four is standard. So we'll get these down here, take a look. All right, number one pin has serrated spool with pin and pin, brass plug. Two had a double serrated uh, key pin spool with this long steel spring. Number three is a double spool with the serrated with the steel spring. And this really nice double spool serration there. Or just a heavily, you know, deep serrations maybe, whatever you want to call them. That's brass. And then the double spool with a, let's look at that. That's got a little bitty come on there you go a little bitty serration right here that's pretty nice there I like that all right well thank you late night lock picker for making this lock Thank you, uh, JP McPenny, for sending it to me. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all be legal. God bless.